Uh oh. We sprung a leak, Captain. What's up, everybody, and welcome back. We're actually uh, headed to the end of the docks here. If you look behind me, there is. There's the 420 from the last video. And right next to it here, the 325 Conquest. Pretty sure that's what they call them, the Boston Whaler there. We're going to take a look at that boat. But at the end of the dock here, we got a sea lion, not the animal. But the boat type, I think, is from Croatia. But it's pretty unique, so uh, I wanted to show you guys before we move on to our Boston Whaler there. So it's on the lift here, so you can't see the outside too well, but it's a 330, I think they call it. Yeah, sea line. Yeah, S330V. So it's a cabin style boat. But it's pretty unique on the inside. There's some things that uh, I notice that are a lot different than the stuff we see normally. So let's jump in real quick. It's got all teak on the bottom here. You got stairway up to the side. Come in here, it's all nice seating. Right here you got big opening so that basically the whole roof is open for you. It's kind of a convertible style, pretty cool. Underneath here, I'm pretty sure there's a Fisher Panda and all your components, the normal stuff there. But we got eyes and glass all the way around. This one's got a big TV in it here. I'll show you what I did. I installed one thing we'll, real quick and we'll look at that. But everything here is gas, not electric. It's a gas burner here. I mean, we have obviously air conditioning stuff which needs electric, but even in here, when I was doing stuff, I noticed it's gas also. So here, this all looks normal because we got Mercury 350 Verados on the back. Switches, just see, like they look just a little bit different. There's no labels, that's not unique, but uh, obviously you get used to them pretty quickly, I'm sure, because it looks like just lights, nav lights. That's opening something there. Windshield wiper. You got spotlight, bow thruster, of course you're gonna have joystick, that's your active trim for the Verados, a little stereo remote, autopilot, you got Raymarine and each Mercury screen for your motors here. Even this I found unique, instead of putting a cup holder up here, they actually recessed them and made them into the fiberglass. You got little glove boxes here. But yeah, it's a it's a cool setup, I actually like it. Look in the cabin, it's got a lot of room, more than I thought when I came in here. This is what I was talking about, everything is just a little bit different. So we got this control pad. You know, see it turned our lights on, you got different choices here. So it's like a little digital pad for your, all your light controls here. Pretty cool. This is what I was talking about, you got gas stoves here. Which I like that idea because you don't have to run a generator or do anything if you want to cook. I'm sure you just have a gas bottle down there, so that's nice. Yeah, right here, gas control, so you got safety stuff, so not a big concern. One thing I seen here too that was cool, it's got these digital switching panels for your 12 volt system. So like here's your water pressure here, you can turn your water pump on. I'm sure all of them, are, I'm sure there's a manual that tells you all this stuff, you know, what's what here, because I don't know what engine room, you got F3 too, these are probably like dash switches or something. But pretty cool. And you got your battery switches right here. What is that? Oh, and then your bilge pump and the alarm, that's nice. And your Fisher Pando here. You go this way, and then on the next stair, you got all your AC panel stuff for your shore power or generator. You just switch it between right here. It's all 240 stuff. And you can tell too, that's, usually you'll see 120 a lot in America for a size boat like this, but in other countries they use 240 because it's more efficient. You go in here, you got a big bedroom here in the middle. Nice. And this is what I did right here. I was just checking it. I added this little holder here. There wasn't a shower holder. So we added that because you'd have to stand here and hold it. Now you can take a shower without having to hold it. It makes it a lot easier. One hand. But yeah, little bowl sink. Nice. Full full uh, bathroom there. And you got your big front bedroom up here. And you got natural lighting. You got the uh, port hatch window there for you. But yeah, I like the nice soft wood colors. There's your main. TV, little dining room area, little cup holders built into the table. Pretty cool. That's even got, most of the time you, you won't get these covers over the windows for your skylights on the inside, but everything in this boat can be covered. That makes it nice, so if the sun comes up and you want to sleep in, the sun's not blaring through the windows and waking you up. 
Let me know what you think of this boat. It's pretty cool, unique for sure. Turn the lights off. But I'm gonna close this one up, pack it up here, and uh, we'll get over on that 325 whaler. We just gotta put a switch in it real quick, but we'll take a look at that one too, so I'll meet you over there. So not too far down from our sea lion here, here's our whaler. This is a 325, so it's basically the same size as that boat over there. But this guy is for fishing, so that's a good comparison. This is a cabin boat, but oriented for fishing, whereas the sea lion is for entertainment. This one has the new 300 Mercs on it. Let's get on the boat. So yeah, here's the 300 Mercs. It's a new style, non-supercharged as the L6s over there are supercharged inline sixes. These are V8s, totally different now. Mercury is doing some pretty cool stuff with their motors. They got 400s, 400Rs, the 400V10s. Pretty awesome, really. So here is basically just a big fishing area. Your dive ladder there, seating, seating. We already know what's in here because it's basically the same mini miniature version of our boat over here. We have generator, if it has a generator. And all your components are downstairs. These are all built basically the same from Boston Whaler. So all I'm doing to this thing is checking the power to this and replacing this switch is bad, it ain't working. So we're gonna switch that out. Not a big deal, I ain't gonna bother filming that because it's a couple wires. I'm gonna pull this out and just look, make sure everything's good. Make sure it's got a light bar up there by the radar right in front, so that's all that switch is. I'm gonna go lower here. We got windshield vents, both sides, just like the other boat. You got cup holders here, charging station for everything. No little compartments to put stuff in. Same thing on both sides here. You got a defroster. It's gonna have air conditioning up here. Your mercury systems. You can have joystick, of course. You don't have a bow thruster, it looks like, on this boat, but you don't need it if you have that. You also have trim tabs here, single merc display instead of the two like the other boat, but then you have two Ray Marines, and all of your switching is right here. Makes it nice and easy. Definitely uh, set up for fishing. Oh, you got a little stereo remote right here. Now you got a shade here, lots of rod holders, stairs to get up to the top there. You got life jacket holders here. Of course, you got an ising glass all the way around this whole thing. And you got a cabin. You can stay in if you want to fish for the weekend or fish or just hang out for the weekend, whatever you want to do. But you got a second bed down here, kind of like the other boat right in the middle. Microwave, electric stove, there's a difference right there. You got instead of the gas stove, you got electric. A big giant bed here, also a table. You have air conditioning, you got the windows. But see, these windows can't be blocked unless they have a little piece that you put in there. Like this one you can see it's got a track there's probably a piece to cover that to keep it dark but the other one you can block off all the way even the top you can block these out from the light it's pretty cool but yeah lots of storage let's look at our bathroom oh, nice no bowl sink though that's all right it's a pretty big one for what it is nice glass shelf a little window here full full toilet in a shower holder which i just installed in the other boat and you got little hooks Pretty nice. Mirror on the door. So they definitely uh, made more room on the outside of this boat for fishing because the cabin is definitely a little bit smaller. This is also maybe a foot or two smaller than that boat. But I like that gold. It's got like a piece of gold that goes right there where the cushions are at. Pretty nice. Well, let me know what you think of these two boats. Which one you like better? Do you like fishing or do you like entertaining? Really, it's your choice. They're both. Actually pretty cool boats. Same kind of power on the back, same kind of setup with the cabin, but different styles completely. A sea lion I haven't seen really maybe one or two of them my whole life because uh, that company I think isn't that old, but uh, it's a cool setup. I like the uniqueness of it and the different systems they're using and they use a 240 on the shore power. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm gonna get to uh, switching my switch out here and fixing this boat. And as always, I appreciate everybody watching. And I will see you next time. Later. Look at the color of this one. It's definitely unique. It's like a seafoam color. Looks good on the little boat though.